All right, in this video, let's go ahead and look at Current's Granular Engine. So you can access Current's Granular Engine under the Engine tab here. Turn it on here, and you have the option to either you know, use the pop-up menu to find a sample, or you can also go to the stream and search for a sound to load into the granular. So let's go ahead and do that quick. Synth. Let's try this one. All right, so now that we have a sample loaded into the granular, we can play it back. So the most important parameter of the granular is this position control here, and that's gonna let you move the playhead of the granular around the sample here. You also have um, the speed control here, which is gonna control how this playhead moves once you play a note. So I'm at 100% speed with a 56% position. So speed is gonna stop. Speed will stop it from moving, 100% regular time of the sample, and then you can speed the sample up, up to 200%. Cool, so now that we have some grains playing, I'm gonna go ahead and turn speed down to zero and we can listen to what uh, these other controls sound like. So, if I offset, it's gonna offset the position, the left and the right position of the playheads on the grains. And you can see that represented in the white dots you see on the um, display. Um, so spray is going to open up a window around the playhead where the grains will optionally trigger from as well. And if I make the, the grains very small, so you can see with spray up, it's moving, it's randomly picking a position inside this window. With spray down, same, same position every time. Now, size is going to um, change the size of the grain. So right now we have rate set to 1 16th. So that means every 16th note, uh, a grain is gonna trigger for both the left and the right channel. And the, the size of the grain is gonna be a percentage of this rate. So it's gonna be 40% of the 16th note. Now, as the grains come closer to 100%, it'll start to sound like one sound again. And as they start to overlap, it will start to become that kind of lush granular sound. Cool. So um, now that we understand kind of how the rate works, the size works, actually rate, we can hear now um, if I do 30 second, faster, or... So now that we know how rate and size and position and speed are interacting and offset, we can start to think about this uh, other concept of layers. So right now we're firing one layer. So that means when uh, a quarter note hits now, we're gonna play uh, one grain at 30% of the size of a quarter note. Now, if I bump this up to two layers, we're gonna do um, two grains in that time. And we have some controls over here, the pattern, which are gonna change how those grains are spaced out. So we have even, there's trigger. We have random. We have waves. And you can hear these get uh, more exacerbated as we turn up to more layers. layers also gives us is this thing called layer span. So if I move layer span now, we can spread those layers out. So you can start to get the idea of how there's kind of a fun ways to make rhythms with the granular system. easy to get lost in and so with the layer span you have the option to make this uh, you know unidirectional or you can also make it bi-directional around the playhead so then looking at the top we have the same tuning modes as uh, the wave tables and the other uh, modules inside of current we also have this punch control so what punch does is it makes the first grain when you hit a note do a rectangle shape at the start of the grain 
and that can sound a bit complicated, but it's quite simple. So just listen for it with this on, with it off. So it just allows that first grain to still come through with a punchy, snappy little attack. Across the bottom, we have all the same pitch, fine, pan, and level controls you'll see across all the modules, except for we also have a grain shape control. So you can change the shape of the grain. So I'll go back down to one grain so we can hear that. So we also have a few more controls we didn't cover. We have the playback modes. So uh, in the granular inside of current, you also have the option to do um, one shots. So that will remove the position control and give you a start and a end position. And then you can use the speed to go through that one shot area. Cool, we also have the option to reverse the sample. And you can also change the direction of the grain to go backwards as well. One final note on the granular is you'll see these uh, bars above all of these uh, knobs. And what this allows you to do is randomize any of these on the grains. So if I have the grains playing, I can randomize their pan here. You can actually randomize the shape of their grains as well. You can randomize their size. randomize their pitch. Randomize their fine tune. Cool, yeah, it can give some uh, interesting variations to your track. Cool. All right. So that kind of covers the granular. You can obviously see that there's, um, depending on the source, you load in here quite a lot of options.